hello everyone welcome back to another video in my today's video i will be sharing with you a recipe to mix the black hair dye powder which i showed you in the previous video i have used that powder to mix this mehendi and you can see the result of uh, the mix it is deep dark in color which will translate onto your hair when you apply using mehendi so this is how it has colored my hair it has turned uh, my gray hair into dark brown uh, depending on the age and uh, type of your hair this mehendi or this hair dye works well on those who have uh, gray hair so if you want to know how i used this hair dye into the mehendi please continue watching the first ingredient is the khatta or katechu i have used this in many of my previous videos it's an extract of acacia tree it is a dark brown dye used for tanning and dyeing uh, leather wool or silk and cotton it is uh, usually used in pan shops to give that dark red color to the pan or the beetle leaf i bought this here in my local store you can purchase it online you either get it in powder form or this uh, chunks like you can easily powder it and uh, you can dilute it for uh, using it in the hair dye to mix this with mehendi you can take 1 tablespoon of the khatta powder mix it with uh, 3 to 4 tablespoons of uh, water and keep it for 10 minutes uh, so that uh, the khatta melts and you can easily use it in the uh, mehendi while using mixing it so the next is this dark uh, powder hair dye powder which i showed in my previous video i'm going to use this powder to mix it with mehendi so i'll show you how to do it the next would be uh, mehendi i'm using this brand mehendi powder you can use any brand of mehendi and uh, even if you have mehendi leaves at home you can use it the only purpose of uh, me using the powder is because i, I don't uh, find uh, mehendi leaves easily so i'm taking one bowl of this mehendi powder for my shoulder length hair depending on the length of your hair you can choose how much ever you want so the method is uh, to mix all the ingredients I'm taking a kadai. This iron kadai is best suited to mix mehendi. I'm adding one bowl of the mehendi powder and two tablespoons of the black hair dye which I just made. I'm taking it uh, two tablespoons and if you are using more mehendi, you can add uh, one more spoon. And the khatta or the katechu mix which you have just melted. I can see that there is a little bit more to be melted so I will be melting it uh, by adding some more water. The next is this uh, vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar I am using uh, for this uh, purpose. I am using, I am showing you that brand but I am using this uh, homemade apple cider vinegar which I purchased from my neighbor. Uh, she is uh, good at making this uh, uh, apple cider vinegar. I just try, wanted to try it. I am using 2 tablespoons of that vinegar and I am going to mix it with water. Uh, to mix this, uh, I am not using any uh, tea or coffee decoction, just all these ingredients. And this works very good. So just mix it thoroughly. To mix it, you can use a fork because it helps to uh, break all the lumps of the ingredients. Mix it vigorously until it is smooth. Mixing this well is very important so that all the ingredients get mixed well. I can touch it and see and there are if there are no lumps you are almost done so mix it uh, with the fork and uh, you can keep this in uh, uh, overnight also or you can just keep leave it for two, three to four hours before you can apply this i like to keep it overnight before using my hair dye the next morning you can see the difference in the color and the texture of the mehendi which you mixed it previous night so the reason for keeping it the whole night is this that it will easily develop into dark color as i mix it you can see that uh, the mehendi is quite dark which can be easily applied on your hair so mix it well so that it all uh, turns into uh, one homogeneous paste as i uh, rub the sides of the kadai you can see that it has turned very black the main reason for the change in color is because of the kadai and uh, the vinegar which you have used on the black hair dye powder along with the katechu you can also add uh, egg for this if you are comfortable using 
otherwise you can directly apply on to the gray hair as you can see my hair is quite gray and i am applying along the roots of the hair and uh, along the length of the hair also so apply this evenly and leave it for uh, three to four hours and wash off with uh, a mild shampoo as you can see it has colored my hair into dark brown i need to apply it reapply it again uh, after two days so that it turns into black color so using this regularly will help uh, you to get that uh, desired color In instead of using the store bought chemical uh, based uh, hair colors this is a best way of coloring your hair also with uh, regular use this not only colors your hair it also provides nourishment to your hair it adds shine it helps to stop hair fall and also reduces dandruff so try this and see how it works for you if you like more such diy's please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching